תראה, זו נתיבות שלום, the parsha is כי תבוא, and the page is קע ח. So, there, there are two פסוקים here. היום, right, את השם האמרת היום, והשם אמירך היום. These are, it's not one פסוק, it's two, two פסוקים. But it's only the shortened beginning of the פסוק. So, this day, היום הזה, השם אלוקיך מצווך לעשות את החוקים האלה ואת המשפטים וכולי. Right, so, in the פרשה we're talking about the מצוות ביקורים, right, the, the first fruit and to bring to בית המקדש, etc. So, this day, השם is commanded you to keep or to do the, uh, the laws and the rule, right, and so on. And then it says, את השם אמרת היום להיות לך לאלוקים וללכת בדרכיו. Right, so the first pasuk said, השם you should אמרת, okay, I don't know how really to translate it to, to English, like, היום הזה, so this day, today you need to אמרת את השם and he will become your God and walk in his path. And the next pasuk says, והשם אמירך היום להיות לעולם סגולה. And so השם is doing the same thing, אמיר אותנו, to be the chosen nation. כאשר דיבר לך, the same way, thing that he was talking about, will, and to be a, a holy nation. להשם אלוקיך כאשר דיבר. So we see there is like two things here. We should להאמיר את השם, and he become our God, and השם will be מאמיר us, and we will become his nation. Okay, comprend it so far? I think so. Okay, so what is להאמיר? So להאמיר can be many things that in the modern Hebrew we're thinking about it. However, Rashi writes something interesting. Let me open it so I want to quote him uh, precisely. And so Rashi said, believable, okay. Rashi said, you see the light of the Gdusha? <laughs> so Rashi said, <laughs> אמרת אמירך, אין להם עד מוכיח במקרא. Like, he couldn't find something that really prove what, it is, what are these words in the mikra. ולי נראה שהוא לשון הפרשה ודלה. And he said, and I think it's, the, the explanation is to be separated. Separated. Like הבדלה. What is הבדלה? Separating. We are separating between Shabbos, And the, and the regular day. This is Avdala, Le'avdil. Okay? So he said, we'll bring here some psukim uh, that Hashem is separating us from the foreign gods, uh, right? Or he separated from the other nation, etc. And also he found that, uh, he found another explanation, like Tiferet, like glory. Right? So, so let's say, like, that's why I say it's a little bit problematic to understand but we can understand like the the context from that word that maybe we don't have a, a precise explanation or a literal translation so one thing is is to separate uh, and the other one is maybe to elevate right and the other one is maybe from from glory so we don't understand exactly what what's the meaning of the word but we can understand that when it says that we should להאמיר את השם and he will become our God and he will להאמיר us and we will become his nation. So we understand there is some kind of an action here. Right? Some, some kind of an action. Okay. And then we need to walk in his path. Okay? So, so he said, להבין עניין ההום הזה, but we need to understand this, this day, right? The day. Which special significant day we're talking about? Right? So Rashi explained, היום הזה השם מצווך, the day that השם commanding you. Which day? He said, every day. Every day, it should be in your eyes like new commandment that you have to be fulfilling this command. Every day השם commanding us. Right? Not new commandment, but every day, it's like a new day. Right? New day that השם will command us. The חוקים and the משפטים. Right? Okay. וטעם... Okay, so he, we give the reason for Emarta uh, Ayom. So what is Et Hashem Emarta Ayom? Right again, that word. He said, Since you accepted the Torah with all the tiny little detail and all the small uh, letters, right? Like in a, in a legal contract, right? Everything we accepted, we signed, right? And the Chidushim, etc., etc., הנה גידלתם השם ורוממתם אותו, like we, we, we uh, increased the name of השם in the world, 
right? And we elevated the name Hashem, right? The name, not Hashem, because Hashem has no size, right? That he will be only, the only God for us. And then Hashem, Hashem said, right? Because this day, this is the day, the Yom Sinai, right? It's the day of the, like, in Mount Sinai, that you receive the Torah every day. Every day we're doing the same thing. And Hashem elevated us, and he uh, uh, increased us, right, in, in, in spiritualism when we receive the Torah. So we should be the chosen nation, the Amsegula from all the other nations. But I know, so he said that that day, right, so that day actually is the day of like, the, I don't know exactly precisely the date, but it was on the after the 40 years in the desert, right, Moshe is about to die, right, the whole Sefer Dvarim was like a very, very short period. It was a recap for everything. So that day, Moshe completed to explain the Torah. And then Israel again accepted everything in all the Dikdukim, etc. And that was like in the in the aspect or in the context of the Bechina Chadasha, Shalom Kabbalat also. When Moshe gave them the recap and he concluded everything and he summarized everything for the Torah, like after 40 years, then we accepted it exactly like we accepted it in, the, in Har Sinai. Right? And that's why it says Shet Hashem Emar Ta'ayom Hashem Imircha Ayom, right? Like in the in the Ma'amad Ar Sinai that we became an an Am Segula. In this four noise, we farish in Yana Yom Azeh. So he said this is actually the day about uh, a covenant, covenant that we did again, like we renewed the, the vow, right? <laughs> we renewed the covenant with Hashem that day. That's why he said Emar Ta'ayom Liot Lecha Leelokim Eni Emar Emir Otcha Liot Lo Leam. Right? Okay, so that was a very glory day. Very glory. And what's the meaning of the Brit, right? The covenant that we give again everything to Hashem it Barach. That Hashem is most important for us of anything else in the world. Right? Okay. So, so he said, we can say furthermore, Shemirumaz, Bayom Azeh al Rosh Hashanah, right? So when they said, Hayom Azeh, Hayom Azeh, did they, did they? It's Rosh Hashanah, right? As the Zohar Kedosh says, Nayom Da, this day, Yom Adedina, it's the day of judgment. Rosh Hashanah, Yom Itchachut Rabiah, right? So it's rejuvenating the entire creation, Rosh Hashanah. Every day it's reju rejuvenating and renewing, etc., etc. Right? We, we, we're always learning that we have cycle in life. We have 24-hour cycle, 12 cycle, right? 12 hours, like day, night, a complete day, a week is a cycle, a month is a cycle, Half a year is a cycle, and a year is a cycle. So this year, right, Rosh Hashanah, is actually we are like a reset button for the next year to come. So this is the rejuvenating of the entire creation. And this is also crowning Hashem again. And it's also, also renewing the, the contract, the covenant between us and Hashem. Every year, we're renewing it, right? It's like a one-year lease <laughs> that with, with extension, right, with extension. So, and that's why it says here, and so on. That our purpose in Rosh Hashanah is to, again, to, to do the covenant, to, to renew the covenant in Rosh Hashanah with Hashem. And then Hashem will, will, will keep his part, right, of choosing us as the chosen nation. We're crowning him, and he's selecting or choosing us, right? Okay. So it says in the beginning, So we are Ma'amirim et Hashem to be our God. So what does it mean? It means, right, we learned a few times. There are two types of, of spiritual elevation or inspiration. One it's called in the Zohar, Itaruta Diltata, like it's coming from below, from here. We do the first step. We are initiating. We are being proactive. If we do that, then after that, the next pasuk says, Hashem ve'mircha yom liot l'olam sugala shua. This is itaruta dil'ela. This is like initiation or, or being proactive from shaman, from heaven. It's like a reaction to what we do here, right? We know we know that it's always midah keneged midah. So if we don't do the first step, nobody will do the, the first step for us. We have to do that. So we do the first step, Hashem is making his first step, right? As a reaction. So he said, why first itarud tata? Why first we hear from, from below? So he said, we found in the Torah twice. 
So we said we find in the Torah twice a covenant, a Brit Chorev, right? That was actually in, in, in Har Chorev, which it could be Har Sinai, that was before or prior of receiving the Torah, as it says in Parashat Mishpatim, right? Ve'ikach Moshe et Adam v'izrok alam, right? So Moshe was doing the sacrifice and he was throwing half of the blood on the on the, on the the people and he said, this is the covenant blood that Hashem made with you on these things, on these words, right? And it says in the Mechilta, so that covenant was in Hei Sivan, fifth of Sivan, prior to receive the Torah, for all the things that Hashem gave us prior to the Futura Kabbalat Torah, right? To Brit Eretz Moab, Aktuva Parashiot Elu. So that was in Mount Sinai. And the Brit Eretz Moab in this parasha, which now we're learning, which is Sefer Dvarim, which is on the after the 40 years in the desert, right? It says, Lo Brit Hashem Balato. So the meaning of these two Britot, these two covenants was one, after we left Egypt. Right, and until Kabbalat Torah, that was itarot dil ela. That was actually gift from heaven. That was the first step from Hashem. Right, we learned that the time that we were in Egypt were in the forty-nine level of Tuma. We didn't have any merits, so Hashem redeemed, saved us from Egypt without any merits. The only merit that we have was faith. That's it. But we were still in the forty-nine level of Tuma. So that covenant was. From heaven, like he initiated it. Called Itaruta Dil Ela from above, from Shemaim. Kidaita, it says in Chodesh Nisan, right? He do live and he right? My uncle is for me and I'm for him, right? This is the, the months of love, the Nisan. Hashem love us and Hashem did that, but this is Itaruta Dil Ela. It's a free gift from heaven, right? Free gift from heaven because all the miracles that he did in Egypt and he carry us and he split the sea. The ten plagues, right, etc., etc. Abinu Bechori, he revealed him that we are his first, first son, firstborn, etc. That was until Kabbalat Torah, and then after that, and now we have the covenant in Sefer Dvarim. He said, "Okay, so now on, we receive the Torah. <laughs> Welcome. I wish you good luck in your new career. Now you have a new career. That's it. Now we have to work." So now it said, now you have to work. Now we need to work for that. We need to put, put the effort. It says, That was from Itarut Dil'ela, right? Inspiration from above. And now we have to inspire ourselves. Ourselves. That's the job. Hard work. Right? Hard work. Omnam said here, Right, so after, even so, after receiving the Torah, now we should work and have the waking up, inspiring ourselves from here. So he said, right, okay, right, but still we have the uh, the influence of the Itarudil Ela from above, from heaven. Still we have that influence. Right, Hashem was Me'amir Otan. Right, so if Hashem commanded us in the Torah, right, that we commanded by Hashem to love Him with all our hearts and our soul, in our essence, right? Still, He gave us the strength to love Him, right? He giving us every breath and breath, so He giving us the strength and the ability to love Him. Okay, and also all the other commandments in the Torah. When we are commanded to do something, Hashem is also facilitating and giving us the uh, the strength to, to fulfill it. But Hashem will not just provoke us or give us something that uh, you know we cannot do. With some kind of a disclaimer. Sometimes yes, but that's on a purpose. But not like on a regular basis or or just because he wants to uh, to, to to you know to let us fail. Sometimes we need to fail, but that was again, this is part of the plan. But in general, Hashem always gives us the ability to fulfill His, uh, his mitzvah. And the right He's giving us. So He said, Hashem giving us the Gdusha and the strength to fulfill His will. As it said, right? How can He say that we will be a nation of Kohanim and Goy Kadosh if He doesn't give us the ability to do that? Right? And this is also hinted. In the in the psukim la'alan in parasat asked v'shma Israel, right? So we have a lot of psukim that we learned, I think, uh, a year or two ago, that Moshe is telling us, right? Pay attention, listen. 
היום הזה נהיית לעם להשם אלוקיך. This day you became a nation to your, your, your God. Again, what is the day, היום? Right? So this is hint about Shabbat Kodesh, Shabbos. As it said, זכלו היום, כי שבת היום. So he said, to get to the chosen uh, nation, to that level, to Hashem, it's impossible only when we are like nullifying, we battle ourselves. And the, the ability to battle ourselves, it's Shabbat. When we don't drive, we don't turn fire, we keep the halakot and everything, we are mevatel as to Hashem. Right? This is the bitul. We do what Hashem asks us, especially in Yom Shabbat, we are mevatel ourselves to Him. And this is the day that we became the chosen nation. Every, every Shabbat that we keep, of course, every day the halakot, but specifically on Shabbat, every, every Shabbat that we keep, we're crowning Hashem, we're accepting all Mechut Shema, we do everything. That we said, this day you became the nation to Hashem. Hashem our God, right? Kodesh, right? So what is Veyadata? This is the cleaving. It's the Veikut, but in our brain, in our Sechel. Veshevot Ha'elev Avecha, you return to your heart. This is the cleaving and, and, and sticking ourselves to Hashem in the, the, in the heart, in the desire of the heart, right? Because Hashem is in Shamaim, the head, right? Ve'ala'aretz mitacha, this is the body. So body... And mind, our soul, are mevutal to Hashem. And that's on Shabbat Kodesh. And to the light of that, it's explained even more when it says in Zohar Kadosh, right? It says, Rashbi Nikra Shabbat. Like Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, his nickname is Shabbos. Because his higher level he could achieve when he was shaking off this world in the 13 years that was in the, in the cave. Right? So he said, he said, he said that when, when he, when, uh, right, that Ben Yair, right, saw at Rashbi, he saw, he saw Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai when he, when he exited the, uh, the cave, that all his uh, skin was full of cracks because he was, you know, hiding, uh, covering himself with the sand, right? Because the clothes, he didn't want to, to ruin his clothes. So, and he couldn't be naked. So he was digging a hole and every, the whole day he was covered with sand. It's very drying, right? So he said, Oh, I'm so sorry that I, I see you in this condition. And and he replied to him, Rabbi Shimon Baruchai, huh, you're happy that you see me here. Because if, if you wouldn't see me like this, right, then you couldn't, like, I will not get this level. So this is the aspect of, of Shabbat Kodesh. So what we actually learned here was, and I said in the beginning, it's going to be a little bit problematic. There are two psukim that one said that. We ma'amir Hashem, and He is going to be our God, and God is going to ma'amir us, and we're going to be the nation, the chosen nation. So we see it like it's, I don't know if symbiotic is the right word, but we have to do the first step, He will do the, the, the next step. However, we have a covenant, two covenants, one before receiving the Torah, that was the free gift because we didn't have the merit. Hashem made a covenant with us, and then after Kabbalah Torah, Hashem is saying, okay, now you have to work. And this is the next covenant that we had 40 years after when Moshe was recapping, doing a summary for the Torah. And that was like the first step that now we do from here. So it is, it's, it's always working together from heaven and from earth. Good Shabbos. Oh.